greetings world. We are Anonymous. For too long the leaders of this planet have ruled over a failing system. It was a system devoid of a soul. Without a heart to the cries of our beautiful host planet and its people. It was a system unable to bear the cost of change even as the biosphere itself and its inhabitants have long since buckled under the strain of mindless and checked capitalism. The breaking point has come and it is because of the strength of those who refuse to give up that the elect have surrendered to knowing the need for change under the directorship of the people. So it is, that we to take the opportunity to be the change we hope to see in the world. We are the people we have been waiting for. For many millennia the global system has grown sick, rewarding qualities that are alien to the true heart of man and elevating those comfortable with green, corruption and ruthlessness to positions of power where they have maniacally dominated those with the true qualities of man which are opposite of life, charity, honesty and meekness. It is that those with these qualities are forced to exist within a system of slavery with opportunity to advance being at the cost of destroying the heart and soul within themselves to become another component of the machine. As though in a periodic cycle of revolution many generations have fought to overcome the elect who for those with any eyes to see had misused their position of trust to further their own paranoid dominance. Drunk on the maddening wines of self-reward and power for the few at the cost of the many. They paid back the world in suffering. So it became that with each revolution the cost escalated until all the persons of the earth and even biosphere itself are brought to the point of destruction just so the elect can keep hold of the power and position they had become accustomed to. Worse than failing their own souls, those we elected to administrate the system on our behalf have bargained with ours, conspiring to destroy all humanity to protect a broken system, instead of just accepting the obvious, that the system has failed us all. Now, one and all, let it go and let's change everything. Brought forward by the selfless sacrifice of many, the people of Earth are now at a turning point in history and it is up to us to take part in a great deep collective democracy endeavor to be the change we wish to see. Let us throw away all the pieces that no longer serve us and embrace this opportunity for something completely different. As the old system crumbles around us find calm in the storm by taking part in the creation of the new system in which all are free. Let us decide together how that system should operate. With the passing of the old. And with the long fulfilled promise fulfilled we are the meek inheriting the earth. We are the last becoming first and the opportunity is given to us. We are about to begin a separation into two paths and it is each individual's choice which path to take. The departing system will dissolve and if it be not for men of courage to end it in one day then it shall be a slow death sucking the life out of anyone who tries to hold on to its passing. For those who choose to join with us. We set out this day to begin an alternative system that will run parallel to that which is passing away and we invite you. Seek wicker spaces to find and discover new projects. Seek tools to empower yourselves. Seek new communities and groups which form after the destruction. Seek free land, space, materials. Seek passage to DC publisher results. We can collectively manifest the things needed to build a new ecology. In the emerging system the opportunity to participate responsibly is open to each and every individual being held sacred to the intention of a real democracy. Which is, accounting for the experience of a subject, everyone has equal voice. Education must be freely available, relevant, and open to all for each to gain the experience and so with this no hierarchy can exist that is not through choice. Any elected administrators exist only to carry out the consensus will of the people and should they fail in that duty they can be replaced instantly. We must seek to create a system in which the biosphere of the earth is valued most and second is service to the community, supports life, to connect between the consequences of our actions and the ecology and community. In this system charity and good will be rewarded instead of its opposite. The change will be magnificent and fast moving. We will be at its leading edge. We must set out to create a system in which there is no super admin and that the consensus will of the people is represented in a fair and equal way. Rather than attempting to destroy the dominant culture without a plan for the aftermath, we can use our ample skills and resources to begin to supplant it. Rather than facing a choice between rejecting economic activity and selling out, we can choose another option. 
to create a legitimate and parallel economy that replaces the existing one. Much about the history of our species and this earth has been hidden from us. There is much to reveal. There is a great adventure ahead for those who choose to join us. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. It's time for a change. We are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence. It is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. You felt it your entire life, that there's something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is, but it's there, like a splinter in your mind, driving you mad. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? That you are a slave, Neo. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage. Born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. A prison for your mind. Throughout history the world has been controlled by big ideologies such as religion, socialism and capitalism to name but a few. These are all forms of slavery that have stopped our evolution and removed our freedom. Anonymous see these ideologies for what they are. Systems of control. The time for change is now. No longer shall the people be oppressed by corruption. In case you are blissfully unaware of who we are, let me tell you this. We are not just a person. As people die, we are an idea, and ideas, are immortal. We are justice, and justice cannot be silenced. We are the ones governed by no law. We are the ones who do not beg for justice to take its course. We are the ones your parents warned you about. We are the voice of the silent in the eyes of the blind. We are, Anonymous. 